hello student in today's class we are going to start our lesson number 2 that is number system so let's start in the earlier times when there were no means of counting people used to count with the help of their fingers stones pebbles sticks etc like in old times when there is no means of counting there is no method of counting so then people use their fingers stones and many other things to count things these methods were not adequate and had many limitation these methods are not up to the mark there are very limitations of that methods and to overcome these limitations many number systems were introduced with the passage of time with the passage of time there are lot of number systems are introduced or invented these are first the decimal number system second the binary number system third the octal number system and fourth the hexadecimal number system so first we have to study about what is number system a number system is a set of values used to represent different quantities when we represent different quantities we need a set of particular number systems such as numbers of students in a class we have to count the number of student in the class so we have to use the numbers or the number of viewers watching a particular show some particular number of people watching a particular show in a museum or in a theater in a multiplex so we have to count the numbers so we need a particular number system we humans use decimal number system in our daily life to count the things numbers we use decimal number system whereas the computer that we are studying represent all kind of data and that uh, computer represent every data and information like in the form of text numbers graphs etc in the binary number and that computer show the numbers or things like graphs text in the form of the binary number system we the humans use the decimal number system and the computer represent all the data in the binary number system the total number of digit used in a number system is called its base or radix the number of digits that were used in the decimal number systems which we use or number system which we use uh, in all the number system like decimal number system binary number system the number of digits that were used in that number system or uh, the total of that digits called the base or radix the base is written after the numbers as scripts such as 25 base 10 now the decimal number system the first very first topic that we have to discuss we have to study about the decimal number system the need for counting paved the way or to introduce decimal number system there is a very much need of the decimal number system to count the things in which 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 up to 9 a number are introduced to count the things the total number of total digits used in the decimals are 10 Zero to nine are used to form any numbers, and their digits are used to form any number. Most of our arithmetic operations are performed with decimal numbers. Many arithmetic operations like addition, subtraction, 
multiplication and division and many others operations are performed with decimal numbers with the help of numbers from 0 to 9. Decimal number system consists of 10 digits. Like I said earlier that decimal number systems are made up of 10 numbers from 0 to 1. 0 to 9 sorry. With the base 10 and the base of the number is 10 like number of uh, digits number of uh, uh, numbers used the so count we number we count the numbers and uh, that numbers are total numbers are 10 so the base is 10 each number can be used individually or they can be grouped to form numeric we can use the number individually means alone or we can use it in a group like like we see that examples 82 we can use 8 and 2 separate and 8 and 2 together together it makes 82 and alone 8 is 8 and 2 is 2 minus 256 comma 52.87 etc the value of each digit in a number depends upon the following first the face value of the digits the face value you studied in the mathematics the base of the number system like the base of the decimal number system is 10 the base is 10 the position of the digits in the numbers like the position ones tens hundred thousand ten thousand that are the place of the numbers there is a mathematical touch in the decimal numbers each position represent a specific power of the base 10 so base is 10 in the decimal number system the rightmost digit of the number is called the least significant the rightmost digit so the digits on the unit place on the ones place is called the least significant digit whereas the leftmost digit is called the most significant digit on the right side the digits is called the least significant digit on the left side the most significant digit called for example the number 547 we can represent as the following ways 7 multiplied by 10 to the power 0 if a number have the power 0 that is called 1 7 multiply 1 7 then 4 into 10 raised to the power 1 means 10 10 into 10 is equal to 40 and 5 on the 100 place 5 into 10 keep 10 raised to the power 2 means 500 the total of 540 and 7 is 547 so the four uh, so we can say that for uh, 547 is a decimal number system now the observation the positional value of each digits the position value of each digit increases 10 folds as we moves from right to left so in the above mentioned example 5 comma 4 and 7 are the face value of their places and the hundred tens and the units place likewise the place value depends on the position of the digit in the number the place value is the position of the digit like 4 on the tens place that we multiply with 10 5 on the hundred place so that we have to multiply with the 10 raised to the power 2 now we will discuss the various type of number system that are used in our computer in our next class. So thank you student, read it twice at your home.